The Rugby Championship is brought to you by Bundaberg Ginger Beer. For the All Blacks and Lost Pumas, World Cup year kicks off in the foothills of the Andes. Mendoza the stage as Argentina and New Zealand clash in round one of the 2023 Rugby Championship. And it will be Santiago Carreras to start the match. Big roar goes up as the ball goes deep into All Black territory. Where it's fielded by Geordie Barrett. And the All Blacks now just looking to set things up for a clearance. Scott Barrett carrying it up. And Damian McKenzie, whose kick is charged in the end goal. Arms go in the air, and the referee will check. This could be a sensational start for Argentina. Always charged down. That's Materas. Oh, I think McKenzie's got there. McKenzie's got there. So Angus, it looks like it's been grounded by Black there. It's been put in by White, so it'll be a goal line dropout. Okay, goal line. Goal line dropout. No, no, William no, no, no. Montoya in his 85th test, but Scott Barrett getting up and challenging in the All Blacks. Winning a line out steal. Rico Ioani sells the dummy, then accelerates over the 10 meter mark. Narua trying to get on the outside, nicely tackled by Carreras, but the All Blacks still have the ball. Coles with a little tip on. Shannon Frizzell is there and they go inside the 22. Barrett away to Narua. Been in sparkling form for the Chiefs. Now a little punch up from Barrett. It's a good one. Coles is there. And Dane Cole scores the opening try. Great movement of the ball from the All Blacks. Nice interchange of passing. McKenzie was looping around from depth. Just a little show and go from Iwani. Then his speed, which he's got plenty of. Outside to Narawa. They cut him down pretty well in both instances. He gets his hands on the ball. But his presentation of the ball was outstanding. Aaron Smith there, quick as a flash. Frizzell, nice little pop to Bowden Barrett. And then on the inside shoulder, the veteran Dane Cole still showing enough speed to get the job done. Line out, five from the line. Lord pulls it down. Coles, well, he's already got one. And they're playing under advantage here. An attempt to collapse them all. Coles has still got it. Edging forward now. Now Smith clears it away. Barrett, short pass away to Ioana. He was almost through. Savi are waiting for it now. Puma's having to marshal their defence. Scott Barrett stretching almost to the line. Now they're over, and it's Adi Savia. Well, this is a great start from New Zealand. Just constant pressure. The ruck speed, again, is very good. The width of Aaron yeah, Smith's first pass is getting past that third or fourth defender of Argentina. Good. McKenzie moving it on. A nice control about the All Black performance and some lovely passing, and here's more of it. Bowden Barrett streaking down the left flank. He's got Jordy inside him, and he'll score. A breakout try, that's three inside the first 11 minutes for the All Blacks. A scintillating stuff, it really is. The ability to want to attack from inside their own 22, the All Blacks. Went down the blind side, Aaron Smith. Found Bowden Barrett with Geordie as well. He's got too much pace for the defender there. Again, brings the last line of defence in really well. Back on the inside to Geordie. They go back to back to get some points on the board. Charging at the line, Matera. Ball's been lost through the hands, has he? Yes, it's been dropped. Lavanini was over. But the handling wasn't what it needed to be. And so the Pumas are denied. Carreras to Sordoni. And the big tight head prop lowered just inside. The 22, beautiful offload from Bruni, but fairly up into the line. Kane trying to get hands on the ball, but the Pumas clear. Big pass out wide. Moroni barreled into touch. Excellent defence. 
A full width of the field away to his right here, Aaron Smith. Has a little dart. McKenzie offloads it to Geordie Barrett. Trying to keep him up off the ground is Moroni. Now they've got to let him go. Pops the ball away to Frizzell. More defending coming up here for the Pumas. McKenzie pops it into space. Rico Ioane! Nice little offload from McKenzie. 34th test try for Rico Ioane. And the evolution of Rico Ioane in the 13 jersey. He made a beautiful break earlier on. Just see there at the line, the pre-line footwork gets him through the yeah, hole. Look. Nice try. To a line out, five from the line. Frizzell, who's done some really good work down towards the back of that all-black line out. Coles, he's got one. He's looking for another player in the side. This could be a yellow card coming up. Could be a double whammy. Coles pops it away. Aaron Smith has a go. He's in. Number eight in the side. Too many infringements. And a yellow card to boot for Rodrigo Bruni. Oh, wow. Double blow big time from Argentina. They gambled on the line-out throw. They threw Lavanini so you know, up from that point in time. They were always vulnerable. The All Blacks yeah. momentum oh, sorry, started going forward and Dane Coles was yeah. in control. The only way they could stop it or negate it was illegally, so they were under penalty pressure. Aaron Smith, quick um, as a flash, slightly dummy, slightly dummy to the outside, pounced on okay. it, and they lose a man to the bin. Well, against a challenging backdrop, the All Blacks could hardly have hoped for a better start to the rugby championship. They lead Argentina at half-time by 31 to nil. All Blacks looking for a counter-ruck here. But it emerges for Montoya. Vetrano sweeps it away. Sordoni now. Carreras waiting for it. They go beyond him to Sinti. Taken by his opposite number, Geordie Barrett. And the All Blacks have won a turnover. That's a great work. I think it might have been Shannon Frizzell. Jordy Barrett involved as well. So the All Blacks able to scramble it away. Little flurry of penalties going the way of Argentina here as they get a bit more possession. Lavanini. It's got advantage. The All Blacks will have to be a little bit careful if the penalties start to mount up. Don't want to lose the momentum. Carreras, drinking run, gets it away. Gajol. Powerful with ball in hand, the offload. Bruni is back on the field and making a storming run down to the five-metre mark. Here's the big chance now for the Pumas. Rico Ioani, though, read it well. Head to release. The ball's still there for the Pumas. Now the referee's going to blow the whistle here. There was a knock-on, and so they'll have to go back for the penalty. Are we going to see a quick tap? Yes. Back, back. Gajo over the ball. Thunders towards the line. He's just back, short. Back. Ali Manu picks it up. He's got it on the line, has he? Or is he just short? Referee's playing advantage again. Well, the All Blacks could be about to lose someone here. Are they about to concede the first try of the match? They are. Soldoni. Forced ill discipline from the All Blacks. The pass from the skipper to his front row for a teammate over. But again, just nice and direct and straight. First appearance for him since 2021, and hardly put a foot wrong. Very good in the air. Now the All Blacks are wrap around again, and Volley McKenzie accelerating into space, clears it away. Barrett, Bowden Barrett's in. Super slick. McKenzie with his depth and his speed. Argentina, as I said, if you're going to give the All Blacks possession in this part of the field, you've got to defend yeah. well. Really nice decoy Sorry, mate, run from Rico Ioane. Narawa and McKenzie had depth, but Narawa wasn't needed because the work of McKenzie to get around those last two and in between those last two defenders put Bowden Barrett with his speed into the position he needed to finish it off. Lalala. What a stride through the tackle. Now Savia. Hanging on around the ankles was Vivas. They just no, keep it going. No, you're too long. Christie waiting and clears it away. Enor is there. Quick hands. Clark, big step.
back in field, taken just four short of the line. Winding up for the charges, Toonga Fassi. He stopped about three short. Lalala with it. Can leave it now. Try to feed it back. Savia has a look. Hands it off. Vai is there. Now Christie. Moonga. Barrett. Short pass away to Kane. They were waiting for him. But they'll work it away to the right again. McKenzie sends it wide. Narawa! He's in! First try. Oh, what a moment, young man. Congratulations. Your first try oh, in an yeah. all-black jersey. And that's what he's there for. The finisher. And Moni Narawa, he will remember this for a very long time. Build up from the forwards. Good work from them. I'm not sure if we're going to see this pass from Damian McKenzie just to get on the outside right there. Just a bit of space to get the go forward. Good. Gone up. One stop. Plays for the Exeter Stay Chiefs. He the wins the line out. Creevy has it in the back. Creevy has it. Oh, he's stretching out. He scored the veteran hooker in his 98th test match ensures that Argentina will at least have the last say. We can just hear the appreciation from the home crowd and what he means to them. Absolute talisman in this Pumas jersey. Angus Gardner blows the final whistle in Mendoza. And this is a very good start to World Cup year for the All Blacks. They beat the Pumas in Mendoza by 41 points to 12.